Okay, everybody, we back with part two of our mix and match card series. I uh, before I left, I sh um was working on this card. So what I did for this one, I put tape here. I put some of that 3D glue gel on the inside here to make this stand up. And I put a flower on here with 3D glue gel also. Voila, card. Okay? So we're going to finish out this one. And <clears throat> I think I want to put some boots on the ground. Let's put some boots. Like maybe like that and put a sentiment right here saying um thank you thinking of you um that would be cute for a, a lady uh yeah let's do that okay so this needs some backing and i have some um, some card bases right here that one was too small that one was like that okay so this is I think a five by seven This is a five by seven card base. And so what we need to do is find something that we can mat in the middle. What color do we have in this drawer that we can use to mat? Uh, let's see. We got that green. Or we can use some hot pink. As simple as adding a little color to our card. Let's see. Do we like that one? Or do we like this hot pink? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Which one do you think? Mm, I don't really like pink, but we're going to go with the pink. Okay. So. That's a perfect mat for that. Okay, so what we're going to take with this, we're going to do with this piece, is we're going to use an embossing folder, and we're going to emboss this with our... Um, Hey puppy, with our embossing folder. So let me pull out a big um, five by seven embossing folder. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. <clears throat> so this is my, oh, that's the wrong case. This is my case of bigger embossing folders. Um, let's see. How about this one? Because it has this middle scene in it, which will give us a place to put 
Oh, come on. <clears throat> It'll give us a place to put the center of the car right there. Okay? So, it's a 3D embossing folder. Woo-wee. You can feel the ridges. And so, we're going to just pop this right in there. And run it through the Gemini because we cannot run it through our diamond press because it is too small. So let me just get a couple of plates here and run it through the Gemini. You're going to hear the Gemini noise. Okay. It's a 3D, so you can't send it through <clears throat> with both plates. You have to send it through with the, the plastic shim and the uh, one plate. So I just send it through with my plastic shim and one plate. And that was it because it's a 3D folder. And look at that. Nice and embossed. Nice texture. Okay, so then we're going to just slide this baby right <clears throat> in here, which will give us a foundation to put this right there. And now it took it up a notch. And so let's tape all this stuff together. Okay, so I really use extra tape when I'm working with embossing folders because you need that, um, the whales or the de-embossed part to really get stuck down, okay? So you really want to use a lot of tape or glue. I could have used my glue gun. This paper here um, is some of the, I believe it is part of the Ladies Who Lunch collection. Or it might be part of the Crafters Companion Spring is in the Air. One of the two. I don't really buy any papers anymore because I have so many, um, if they don't come with the kit, because I have so much paper that I, I'm, I gotta start using it. I got paper everywhere. Okay, so then now that will, will go there. Um, we'll tape this down. And I tape over the ribbon also so that it could stick down as well. this it's like sinking it right in the middle of the design just like that just like that okay and then talk about this later okay and then let me pick a design that will go on here that we can oh we picked the boot, duh. But guess what? I don't really want the boot now because the boot the wrong color. Where the other boot go? I lost it, the boot. I don't know what I did with my boot. I lost the other boot. Oh, here's the other boot. That's just too many colors for one on one. So we're not gonna use the boot. We're not going to use the boot. What we're going to do is um, maybe we can use the vase since there's flowers. And that flower's too big. But that 
flower is not okay and let's take a couple of let's take a couple of vases and we can build a couple of flowers to go in the vases. Yeah. Or do we want to just take these uh, that are already made? Okay, so let's color some of the vases. Um, Copic coloring. We're not going to do fancy nothing. I'm just going to color the vase very simply colored Just nothing fancy fad. Just like that. And then I'll take the, there's no yellow. But I'll take this greenish color. What number is this? G00. Yep. And that'll be the rest of the vase. So we're staying in with the pink and green thing. Here we go. That's that one. And should we stick some leaves out of it? No, because it's too much going on in the background. And so this one, this pot here, we'll just pull in and make all green. Just like that, because we're not trying to be fancy. We're trying to get them done and make them as cute as we can do it. Um, this card is going to be busy as it is already. So, let's see what this D21 looks like. Okay, so just to give it a little dimension on the sides, just like that, and highlight like that. Just like that, and then I'll come back in and smooth it out a little bit. Did I, yeah, smooth it out a little bit with this one. See, just a little bit of something. Just a little smoothing out. Okay. And now, this one will go here. And this one will go here. But first things first is we need to put it on our card base. And that is a 5 by 7 So it will go on a 5 by 7 base. And so you always want to get, um, if you want to make it more convenient when you're doing, okay, tape dispenser. 
when you want to do it and make it a little bit more, a uh, little bit easier to go on there. So I have to I have another tape dispenser, um, but I'm just going to show you how to change your tape gun. I, I have two of them, and I get these big guns from... Um, I got them both, I think, from Michaels or something. Okay, so the arrow tells you how to put it on. And it's got to be sticky on the underside. Not this. It's got to be sticky on the top, not the under. And so you're taking this under. You're going to put that on there make it stick in. And you're going to run this around. So it's going arrow, arrow around, and then you're going to stick it in the little grooves, just like that. And it's already enough sticky to make that stay on one. And you're going to just turn that, and that's it. That's what it looks like. And then you press, and it'll roll out your tape. Tighten up this five by seven card base. I'm just going to tighten it up. Make it a little bit straighter. That's what I mean by tighten it up. And you're going to make sure that you open your card base the correct way. And we're going to just put this baby on here. Just like that. So now you got a card base. Mm -mm. So in order to keep this little guy from moving, I can just take a dab of hot glue and glue it into place. So now it won't slide again or slide off. It's glued on. Okay, and so we put that one there. We're putting this one here. Do you want to face them away from each other? How does that look in the camera? This card is so busy. <laughs> it's very, very busy. We want to get us some dimension. And so, you know, I have so many dimensionals. Um, I have so Oh, I got to put the little windy thing back in here. And this just helps it to wind and keep it tight. I always do that. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of this and our glue. And we're going to put that in here, right in the center. Put that right in the center of the thingy tang, and then we're gonna put some more glue on here. And I'm just putting that in there, on there, and it's going to stay. And then we do the same thing with this one. We just take a little glue and put it right in the middle. And you can probably see that this has some something on the back. That means I just, I stamped it, something didn't work out, and I stamped it on the back. This one will go right here. And I think, didn't we pick this one? Yeah, I think we picked this one. 
So, do we want this flat? And of course we do not. <coughs> so, we're going to use some 3D glue gel. And this one on our little flowers. Just like that. And then we're gonna stick a few little leaves. Just a few. I'm putting this glue on the front and the back. And I'm just sticking them in there. Just so we can have little leaves um, in our design. See that? I'm just sticking them right in there. So we have some leaves in our design. Um, let's put one more. <coughs> I'm just gonna put this right here. So we have leaves in our design. I'm not doing nothing, I was just wiping off the tip of my nozzle for my glue. And then we have enough room for a sentiment right across the top. And there we go. It's very busy, but it's cute. So, next card, please. Okay, let's see. This one is pretty simple. Um, I think we'll just do a wash over the front, over the top of this one. And call that one done. What color wash should we use? A blue wash? A gold wash? Whatever we use, it must be a light color. So we'll go with a light blue. We'll go with a light blue. I love these sparkle inks. Wet this and see if it works better wet first. Oh, yeah. It spreads so much better when it's wet first. Like it. Okay, so we did that part, but since we have a field of flowers, I think it would be nice to do a yellow field of flowers.
you so I'm gonna wet this and I'm gonna wet this bottom which will make it spread better and then we're gonna dip in there and then we're gonna spread this out over the field of flowers we're just making this look so spread really easily see that dip and spread easily That is so cute. That is just gorgeous. See that? Ain't nothing like that sparkle, I tell you. Ain't nothing like it. See that? I like that sparkle. You know, I told y'all. <laughs> I'm going to wear my little thingy here. So, there we go. We got our field of flowers. And we have our sparkling blue sky. And I want to see if this is going to work right quick. Like, let me, I always got to close these up really tight. And I'm going to grab a Copic C1 marker. And see if I can go in here and get these a little bit of color. Yep, I can. And yes, I did. There we go. Just to take off some of that dullness. There we go. That's just exactly how easy it is to do some quick card parts. And so I can't do anything right now with this because it's wet. And so I will put it over to the side and let it dry. How wonderful is that? Got a pause. Somebody's at my door. Okay. So what I did was I colored this all in. I put a little gray. I put made this yellow for the flowers. And then um, I pressed pause because I used my heat gun to dry this off. So now it's dry. Um, so now this is basically a card front. And all we got to do is put a message on it. So what I'm going to do is... Put it on a card base, as usual, as per our usual. I love this weighted card stock. I think the next time that I order it from the paper company, I will order it cut in half also. Because they actually take big sheets and cut them down for me. Um, and that's probably why it's so inexpensive, because they cut them down for me. Uh, from gigantic sheets and then I just cut them in half but I think I might have them give me a box because I only use them for card bases but I don't want them all cutting down because I use them for five by seven card bases as well and so I don't want them all cut down but I want some to be already cut down for me and so this will now go on the card base like this, right? So what we have to do with this first before we put it on the card base is cut around this um, outer edge to get that outer edge at the bottom off. And the sides, get that off and get this off. 
So now if we choose to mat this with say that green that we had before, we can mat that like this. And put our sentiment here or here or wherever we want. Or we can take one of the other um, sheets and mat this like that to give it a little bit more depth in the background, which I like. Um, yeah, that's a complete card base. So then for this, we really want to make sure that this is glued down. I'm going to use some liquid glue so I can get it down on that card base flat because you don't want your card bases to lift up on you. And the one thing about when you use glue, um, I'm not using a lot of glue if you can see that. It's not a lot of glue. But one of the good things is when you're using glue, you have a little wiggle room to move it around. You have a little bit of room to, to move it in its place. Unlike tape, where it's almost a one and done. But also it adds some st stability. It adds some stability to your design. So, which is always a plus. You always want to add some stability to your card. Because who wants to get a flimsy card? Nobody. Even though people really enjoy getting cards. Um, so you, even if they didn't realize that the base was flimsy, just the idea of them getting cards, people would love that. Um, I actually sent out, sent out cards to my loved ones, and they called me. I'm like, oh, my God, thank you so much for the card. And I'm like, oh, I hope they like it because it's so boring or not or whatever and people are just like thank you for thinking of me and so there we go and now we have a card front and we're going to put a sentiment on there and there we go so this is the end of part two this is an ongoing series of using all this Mitch and Mac stuff and so we'll keep on going with it all right thank you so much and I will see you in the next one